Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be giving you a guide on how to make how to make uh, one million four hundred twenty-three thousand two hundred forty dollars uh, with your terabyte missions. It'll be a little bit less than that because I did sell a car in here that gave me like eight thousand dollars, so it's not a lot. <clears throat> but this guide, make sure that you have all your businesses supplied, like your MCs, your bunker. Make sure that that is supplied. Um, and this is for this week only. You can make one point four mil. Uh, basically cut that in half almost and that's what you'll be getting you'll be getting a little bit um, more than what half would be but uh, yeah this is actually a very effective way to make money this is one of the best ways to make money legit in the game right now while all these all this stuff's double money and uh, take advantage of it it took me 30 minutes roughly to do this and like I said I even sold a car in there to Simeon so it took longer to do that so this took about 30 minutes and all my businesses were cooking in the background and yeah I mean it, it was easy and made a lot of money so make sure that you do this for the week that this uh, is going on so the first thing you want to do is diamond shopping this one is very easy to do I mean a two-year-old could do it it's not that hard and right here's the location for where you're gonna want to um, go to that's where the diamond thing is you don't need to take your terabyte up there it's just taking longer wasting time but it, it's pretty simple mission uh, right there's look I showed it to make sure you know you got it if you don't know where it's at pretty simple mission you just go over there you uh, blow up that truck outside you go inside kill those dudes and take the diamonds sometimes the mission will glitch out and it will um, the diamonds will go through the wall or through the floor or some shit and you can't get them you just have to leave the lobby I did this in the invite only lobby make sure you you know have your business supplied like I've already said just go in here clear it out with whatever gun you want you can use explosives do whatever and go in here kill that dude pick up the diamonds there's one dude with a shotgun he's wearing that same uniform without the helmet you're gonna want to make sure you get him and then you just run out and go deliver this you don't even need to call the cops off of you it's simple and you get paid in the end uh, 30,500 usually is what it is but like if, uh, this week is double money so this week you're making 60,500 instead which isn't true double money technically but you know it's whatever you just go over there. You don't got to worry about calling the cops off of you. You'll lose them. And if you don't, and it's taking a little longer, uh, just call Lester. And right here is where you're going to want to go to. That's the location. Right there. You're going to start heading in that direction so that uh, you're right by the drop. That's always the same drop no matter what. And this is the diamond shop mission where you just got to go in, kill the dude, come out, and boom. It's done. It's one of the easier uh, client jobs to do. It's actually the easiest client job to do that they've you know that they have it pays really well and you know, it's what I like I prefer doing it's, it's like first choice now for this one make sure that you go into the city so that you can <clears throat> yeah the dudes spawn closer together and they're easier to kill and they're in better locations really and uh, now this mission can be unforgiving, so if you don't know what you're doing, I mean, this one, they're going to fucking shred you. I mean, they, I don't know what type of guns they got, man, but they fucking shred. And now some of them are going to want to get out of the um, vehicle or off your oppressor, whatever the fuck you're using, to kill them and get, like, on a building or something. And then you're able to uh, kill them a little easier just because the angle they're at makes it hard, difficult sometimes. But... You just go in, kill the dudes. It's pretty easy. Mostly use your oppressor. These dudes are pretty accurate and don't miss too often. And they're hard to kill, so just go for the target. The target's always driving a vehicle if you're, like, saying using a broom or some shit. And whenever you shoot the vehicle twice with rockets and they hit, then the dudes will get out at that point. Just wait a second and then shoot, like, right as dude's getting out. And it should kill him. If you want, you can just, like, shoot, like, four or five rockets and it'll blow up the car. So that's always pretty nice to do. And you just get the kill. That's really it for this one, though. This isn't really a mandatory part of the money guy, but I just happened to do it so quick. And I had a cool down, and I didn't feel like waiting. And I thought this car sold for more, and apparently it fucking sells for shit. So, I was like, alright, I was going to sell this car. It should be like 9000 I was wrong. It's like 5000 something or some shit. I don't even know. But, um, so I just, yeah, you know, let's change my outfit real quick. Why not, you know? And then I come out, you know, I steal the car. I go to Los Santos Customs. Oh, send me a vehicle. Well, fuck that. I ain't about to do that. Uh, it's, you know, less money and shit. Anyway, who cares? I was wrong. I mean, it turns out that it is more money. 
than what I would have got for selling it to Los Santos. So I'm glad I wanted to test that out. This isn't mandatory. It's only eight grand. It doesn't really matter. I just I did this because, like I said, I had a cool down. And I just said, fuck it, I'm going to beat it. So my times are technically a little longer than what they should be. So realistically, you're going to be getting this done in around, uh, you know, whatever, how long, how long this clip is. Uh, you'll be getting this done in that much less time, obviously. So, you know, this clip's actually one of the longest ones on here. So, yeah, this is going to be mandatory. Just if you want, like, say you beat a cooldown, you sell a car or some shit, it's extra money is extra money. Or you do this for Simeon or something. I don't know. Just extra money, extra money, why not? That's really all I have to say for this one. The next one you're going to do is going to be the Life Evader one. I think it's uh, targeted data. Right there is the location of it, just south of a golf course. And you fly up there, or however you get there, you get there. And when if you don't have the terabyte there, you have to, there's security guards in there, and they'll see you, and you have to kill them. And then you'll get the cops on you. And you have to hack two laptops, and while you're hacking, the cops can come up there. And if you can't find the numbers quick enough, they can kill you. That's why I throw down sticky bombs, is so that I can just go ahead and EWO real quick. Because then the, if the cops don't kill me, my vehicle doesn't get impounded. So it's just staying outside, so it just kind of speeds things up a little bit. So that's why I throw the sticky bomb down. You just head out there, kill the dudes, hack the laptop. And then after that, a target will come up. And you have to, um, what you call it, you have to go kill him. And... Now, really, that's the end of the mission. And he's protected by some dudes, but if you have a presser or something, you just shoot rockets at whatever it locks onto over there. And, uh, you'll hit the dude eventually. And then get paid, and you are set and done with the mission. I mean, this one's, like I said, it's a pretty easy one, but it can get annoying. Make sure you have a sticky bomb down, ready to, like, EWO, or you have someone covering you if you have a friend with you, so that um, you don't get your thing impounded and have to call your assistant to get it back. And, you know, that just takes a little bit longer. And there's no reason to add on extra time unless, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Right? You know what I'm trying to say, right? You got me on that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, the only reason I did Sightseer, because I usually don't like doing this one at all, just because it's the cooldown. I mean, it takes a little bit longer than Headhunter would, but I had a cooldown. So I decided I was going to beat it by, you know, might as well do Sightseer, make some money. And Sightseer usually pays a little bit more just because it takes a little bit longer. So it's size here is another. It's a very simple one. You do some hack missions. There's three different hack missions that you do. Uh, one of them is the one I just had, where it's the bars, and then another one's where you have to like spell a word out. And some of the words are kind of funny. And then you'll have to. Uh, there's another one where you have to find the numbers. And that was the most fucking annoying thing you'll ever find in the game. It's probably more annoying than like a tryhard that thinks they're good and BSTs and Evos and all that shit and like OCs and leave the lobby. Uh, I think they are. Uh, like, it's probably more annoying than them. And they're pretty fucking annoying. So, um, I mean, the, the missions aren't too hard. They're just, like I said, that, that number one's annoying. If you can't find the number quick enough, I mean, shit, it's very fucking stupid. Uh, but yeah, usually the hack missions, you go over to the location, collect the package. There's nothing special about it. Like, nobody ambushes you or anything. Uh, sorry about that notification. But there's nobody that comes in and, like, ambushes you at a drop or something. You just come pick it up and do the next hack mission. And then you're on your way, and it pays anywhere from twenty thousand uh, five hundred to twenty five thousand. But usually, you'll probably get twenty two thousand from this one more often, just because this one takes a little bit longer. And this one, probably this probably this mission probably took me the longest out of all of these. So yeah, that, that's kind of a down a downside to doing sites here. So I always prefer headhunter, but I had a minute cooldown, and so I just decided sites here would be better. That's really it for this one. It's not that hard, not too complicated, not much to explain. The next mission you want to do is going to be robbery in progress. This mission, you um, just find a bank that's being robbed uh, from your little menu here. And I went the wrong fucking way, so it took forever. And uh, it ended up being the Pacific Standard Bank. You go over there, and um, there's two dudes inside robbing the bank. And there's a juggernaut that comes out with a minigun and sprays you. And uh, you just need to shoot a rocket at him. 
Usually I've found that it's the Pacific Standard Bank or the Sandy Shores one. There's All the locations can be hit. I've seen them all be hit. But usually those are the ones that are you know targeted the most. But you just find the location, and then you go over there, kill the dudes. There's the juggernaut comes outside, shoot rockets at him. If you want, let him take out the cops and then shoot him and blow him up. Uh, and then run inside, or you can just go kill him and then say fuck the cops. Uh, and go on. I recommend don't call, have Lester brought up, and once you get outside, kill like the cops that you need to, and then call Lester. Uh, like go ahead and like finish the call and hit remove one level and stuff. Just because if you do it while you're inside the bank, I'm pretty sure that you get the cops back on you. I'm not sure, and you know that can be kind of annoying if you just call Lester and I got pay 15k to fucking bribe authorities or Evo or some shit. Makes it just a little bit more difficult. That just saves time and saves you some trouble, and pretty easy money. You just take the gold to a drop off, and then boom, you finish the mission. As soon as you finish that mission, go ahead and start up another headhunter, and same thing. You, uh, you know, that was done before. You just go over there, and then boom, 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 headhunter, boom, boom. Pew, pew. $20,000. On this one, I took a little bit longer, as you'll see in the end, and I fucking had a little bit of fun trying to kill the dude. I got shredded. I couldn't get the dude for some reason, and then I just fucked around and threw sticky bombs at him until I killed him and all that shit. I tried hard, and I failed, so it was just like most, you know, just like most people in the game. Try hard, and then they fail, and, you know, try to blow up your post-op van. You do it for them, and then, you know, you 11 one them afterwards. Things like that. But yeah, just, you know, the uh, headhunters are pretty easy to do. You just do them, and you're done. They're not double money this week, sadly, but they do contribute, and this does burn the cooldown. That's why you're doing these, because it burns the cooldown uh, timer that you would normally have in between client job of five minutes, and you can just do a headhunter, make more money, and then boom, go back to a client job, and kapuya, you're, uh, you're set, and you're going, making more money. Now this mission is just horrible. I hate, 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 triple hate this mission so much. I mean, this is, it is so annoying. I mean, you have to hack vehicles and then you have to go on. After you hack the vehicles, you go on, you know, you know being cool, hack more, being cool. And then you got to shoot the dudes out of them and then steal them and drop them off at a location. Just knocked over a drink. Uh, and then you gotta go to a location uh, with the vehicle. I think it changes every time. Uh, depends on where you start that, I think. Uh, this one, I had to go to a barn. But you just take the vehicle and go on. Now, when you're hacking it, make sure you stay above the dude so that they can, can't can shoot you. Or if they do, uh, that you know you limit the times they hit you and they mostly hit your oppressor. Because if they kill you, then that gets super annoying. Uh, stay above them. You can't like close the phone and pull up your snacks like you can for the Doomsday stuff. Well, the Doomsday version of this one you can. And um, just make sure you kill the dudes. Once you like say you find the vehicle, kill those dudes. Use like full metal jacket rounds or something. One time I used the minigun and shredded the car's armor I guess and just killed. Um, just blew up the vehicle. And that kind of sucked. It was sad but it happened. Um, and this one, like I said, is one of the more annoying ones, and I don't look forward to ever doing this one whenever I have to, because it's just, it takes forever, and it just, like, it's super, super annoying, it's just the hassle's not really the funnest thing to deal with. <clears throat> now you're going to run a, uh, run a headhunter, and that's the end of the this the part of this video if you don't if you want to see some of the math then go ahead and uh, look at the next part of the video but that's it you just run a headhunter kill the four dudes and then you repeat the process and that's your money making method and you'll make a lot of money in no time doing this uh, and this is actually one of the best ways to make money legit right now so go ahead and get on board if you want um, 
it's pretty easy, not hard at all. And, you know, if you're looking to make fast money for the casino comes out and you have this stuff, then do it. Make sure your businesses are supplied, though. That's one thing that I cannot say enough. Now, here's the math. <clears throat> Client jobs and the VIP work, I got three uh, $336,004 because I did have to sell that car in there. So that's why I got that. And um, 672 uh, 08 an hour is what I got. No. Uh, because, you know, it took me about 30 minutes. It took me 30 minutes, 0. 0.03 seconds. So, you know, it took me 30.03 minutes to do it. So, I basically got it done in 30 minutes. It's going to be 672000 for your client jobs and VIP work. And 525000 for your MC. 182608 for your bunker. 65624 with fully upgraded nightclub and max... Um, popularity and that's uh, $1,445,232 an hour this is one of the best ways to make money and I will have a link in the